Stainless is not just one number. It is a family. And the number on it determines whether your railings will shine or stain. Let me break it down. Oh, here it comes. 304 is the classic 18 inch stainless. About 18% chromium and 8% nickel. It's the all-rounder that you see everywhere because that chemistry makes a stable, protective film that resists rust in normal conditions. 316 stainless is 304 stainless with an upgrade. Wow. It is with 2 to 3% molybdenum added on top of it for extra rust resistance. That tiny tweak changes the game around salt in the coastal air and chlorides from pool splash. So it's best used in coastal areas and swimming pools. The result is better resistant to the attack in marine environments. If you are near the ocean, 316 stainless is usually the safe minimum, but finish and maintenance still matter. 201 was invented to save nickel because you know, nickel is expensive. So they swapped it with manganese and nitrogen. Those ones are cheaper. It is fine for many indoor uses, but risky at the coast. If you are in Aja or Leki and you are considering 201 for exterior use, <laughs> drop that thought like hot yam. So what do I specify for coastal areas like Aja and Cook? For your railings, gates, handles, even the external screws, use 316 stainless with proper surface finishing after fabrication. And if your supplier pushes 201 stainless for outdoor coastal use, check very well. You probably offended that guy in the past. If you are inland or fully indoors, inland or not island, 304 is usually fine and easier on your wallet. But once salt is in the air, pay for 316 and sleep well. I hope you're able to learn something today. I've been Fala Jomi. See you on the next one.